Cancer, it's your girl. I'm here with your weekly reading. Okay, Cancer, so um, I want to say thanks for stopping by my channel. Your middle card is what life wants you to know right now. Um, I've already laid out the rest of your spread, and my readings are considered a heads up. So I just ask that you take this as a heads up of something that's going on in your life right now or something that's about to happen in your life. Okay, Cancer? So let's jump right in, and I'm going to confirm everything with the Witch's Tarot. Okay, but what I see here, Cancer, is you are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. Okay? In your last week's reading, it's, um, there was a lot of cockiness going on. That was either you or your person. And always know that these readings can go for you or your person. This could be you showing up in this reading, or this could be your person showing up in this reading. However... It fits into your life. You take whatever resonates with you, okay? Some of it may resonate with you. Some of it may not resonate with you, okay? All right, Cancer. So let's jump in. So your overall reading is uh, the High Priestess. Okay? And that's all about... Um, that's all about wisdom and knowledge, Okay? That's all about wisdom and knowledge, and that's what your overall reading is about. Okay, either you want that, or either you're gaining that, or either you you have that, okay? So what I see here, Cancer, is um, you want something, you want justice. You want justice for something to be made fair, right? Like you don't want to be penny-pinched, or you don't want to, you want justice, you know, but I, I feel that you know, this is penny pinching. So you want things to be made fair, but all in the same token, this is penny pinching right here. And this is needing to cut out things that no longer serve you. So I feel like that this is the energy that you want, which is you want things to be made fair and you want justice, but you can't just penny pinch people and just give people whatever you want to give them, right? You have to cut out things, people, the places that no longer serve you, okay? You got to cut things out that no longer serve you in order for you to get this justice that you want. Because if you're not being fair, then how do you expect for, you know, to get justice, for it to be made fair? And your overall energy is, um, you know, wisdom and, and knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that you got to seek that wisdom and knowledge or you need to speak with someone with wisdom and knowledge if you if this energy is you. Okay? Because this is what you have to gain in order for things to be made fair. Okay, because you have the wisdom and the knowledge to know right from wrong. You know what you're doing when you do it, right? And you have to cut out things that no longer serve you. Because this is sneaky energy right here. Okay, this is sneaky energy right here. You have to make a decision to be serious. Okay, if you want this love. Because your last reading was that you was just running around like doing the most. Or either your person was just running around doing the most. Just being a little cocky person, right? But you have to know to put your player's card up if, if you want love. Or you're going to always feel like the people are turning their back on you. Okay, Cancer? That's what I'm getting out of this reading. And it says you are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. And I think that you know that you are a badass, okay? Right? But the power that you're giving away is because it's, it, you could be possibly putting out too much cockiness, Okay? Just own up. You already a badass. Like, you don't have to put this sneaky energy and, you know, uh, not being fair. You know, you don't have to use that energy because you already a badass. Because when you're using that energy, then, then you're giving away your power. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. Let's confirm everything with this witch's tarot. Okay, Cancer. Let's see what's going on. Why is it just this card here for Cancer? Why is it just this card here for Cancer? Justice card. Why is the justice card? Here for That's it. Some flipped over. See? Why is the justice card here? This is what you got. That's why you have the justice card because you want things to be made fair, right? But you got to work on you. This is you working on you. You have to work on you. Like you are, it says right here, you are, you are a badass. Act like it. 
because you are already this you already like beautiful you know what i'm saying you got you're uh you you st- you stable you got your stability together and everything you know what i'm saying you already that okay you already that you don't have to use this cockiness energy okay like and i feel like that you have the knowledge and the wisdom to know that you know but don't use this cocky energy because that is giving you're giving away your power when you do that because you, you you just putting too much into it you don't have to do all of that okay because you already that and that's what you need to know. You don't have to put no extra work in. You want it to be made fair, but you got to realize who you are, okay? You don't have to put extra work in to try to make yourself be like super cocky whenever you are already that person, okay? Yeah. So let's keep going. All the six of pentacles here. All the six of pentacles here for cancer. See, that's what I'm saying. You got the moon car. You got the moon car. This is like um, not keeping it real with yourself. This is like illusions. You know what I'm saying? Like this is not keeping it real with yourself. Like you can't just be penny pinching people. Like you gotta keep it real with yourself. This is like illusions. You know, like it's not gonna be fair if you don't, you know, work on yourself. You have to work on yourself and know that you are already what you're trying to be. Okay. You can't just give people whatever you want to because this is not, this is like not what you think. This is like illusions. This is like, um, um, damn. Yeah, this is like illusions. This is like, um, that's like not keeping it real with yourself. Like that's not, it's like all in your head. You know, you got to move away from that. This is moving away from that type of energy. You have to move away from that. Okay, see what I'm saying? You got to cut things, people, places, and things out that no longer serve you. You have to do that, you know, because you ain't keeping it real with yourself. You already that. You don't have to stunt for nobody. You don't have to. You don't have to try so hard because you already that. When you try harder, then you're giving away your power. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here for Cancer? See, this is what you got. Okay. You have to move away from that energy. You cannot hold on to that energy. This is holding on to the energy. You can't hold on to that. You can't just penny pinch people. You can't just give people whatever you want to give them and just do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and expect things to be made fair. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, you can't hold on to that. You have to cut things out that no longer serve you. Which is this, like, you know, sneaky energy. Like, you know, that's, this is people being sneaky. Like, you have to make a decision to be serious you have to take yourself serious if you want other people to take you serious because you want it to be made fair and you want people to take you serious but you have to pull that knowledge and that wisdom out of you that you know that you have inside of you and take yourself serious and then other people will take you serious you know what i'm saying but the energy that you're giving out you're giving away your power because you're doing too much and people's not taking you serious you already the shit you are a badass act like it you know, you don't have to try so hard. Why the seven of wands here? Why the seven of wands here for cancer? Why the, damn. Why the seven of wands here for cancer? See? 
that sneaky energy. You need to work on that. You need to put time and effort and work. You need to put time, effort, and hard work into the sneaky energy. Like, you got to get out of that. You have to stop holding on to that. You need to put time and effort and work into yourself to get you up out of this. Like, look, feeling like that you, like, got to be more. You don't have to be more because you are already that. Okay? So you need to make you need to work on that and make a decision to be serious about that, okay? Because you won't love, but you have to put that player energy up and know who you are and love yourself and already know that you are enough, Cancer, okay? Yes, honey. Let's see, why the two why the two wands here? Why the two of wands? See? See what I'm saying? The cards don't lie. Whenever you decide, you got to make a decision. You got to put time, effort, and work. And whenever you make that decision to look into yourself, because you're scared of the unknown. You're scared of what you don't know. Everybody's scared of what they don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's why you try so hard because it's like you feel like this is what you have to do because you feel like that if you put that energy up, like it's like. I don't know then you may think that people will think less of you or something but you got to know that you are already that okay you are already that you feel me but you scared to put that up because you think that if you if you drop that then people is going to look at you lesser but you see the universe is trying to offer you this this is abundance this is a house a car like big things okay and new beginnings but they're not going to give you that until you do this you got to soul search and go within and see what that is that's causing you to act in this like sneaky cocky energy okay cancer that's what you have to do in order for the universe for you to get this you have to fix this okay and it's like you are scared to make a decision on just being your natural self because you're scared of the unknown you don't know how people is gonna react if you step back a little bit you know like I'm saying, Cancer, you are already enough. You are giving away your power by doing that. Like, you're probably just taking too much energy out of yourself trying to, like, be this other person. If you just be your authentic self, people is going to accept you for who you are. But you have to accept yourself and be, you got to be take yourself serious, okay? Or you're going to always feel like, you know... Like people's turning their back on you or, you know, are you always going to feel like down and depressed, you know? Let's keep going, Cancer. Why is the next? Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? The cancer. Why is the King of Swords here? The cancer. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? You got to be serious because if you keep on playing, this is playing. If you keep on playing, then it's going to turn into a burden. It's going to cause a burden. It could be, it could stress you out. It's going to be, you're going to become a burden. You know, you you just got to put that little like player sneaky energy down and you know, and then you'll be able to receive this love and you won't feel like that people's turning their back on you. They turn your back on you because you have to keep it real with yourself. Okay. You got the knowledge and the wisdom to do so. You don't have to do so much. Okay. Why's the king of cups here? Why's the king of cups there for cancer? Why's the king of cups there for cancer? You might hear kids outside. There's kids outside playing. Why's the king of cups here? Flip over. Okay. Why is the king of cups here? This is what you got. This is loving and nurturing. This is like mother, like pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? If you put that player's card up, then you'll get this. You know? And then you won't feel like that people's turning their back on you. And you want this love, and you want this loving and nurturing energy, but you have to... You know, like, 
You have to get more serious. Why is it five of cups? This ain't yours. Why is it five of cups here? Why is it five of cups here? Good. Oh, see what I'm saying? You got to take that journey to know that you are enough. You don't have to do extra things. You have to look within yourself. You have to look within yourself and know that you are enough, okay? And you got to take action on that. You have to fight for that. You have to take action. Sometimes you may have to even talk yourself down like, okay, I'm doing too much. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. That's perfectly fine. You know? But then you won't feel like the people turn their back on you. But uh, you got to notice it, though. So you have to go within and d to fix that. Okay? Yeah, you have to take action on doing that. And then you'll get this drastic change that you want. Okay? Yeah, you'll get that change that you want. It'll be, it'll be made fair. You know? But it's going to come. This is like... Um, I say this is like a divine timing, okay? It's gonna come, but you have to you have to cut that down a little bit, and you got to know that you are enough, okay? You don't have to go the extra mile, and you have the knowledge and the wisdom to know that, okay? And then you won't feel left out in the cold. But you have to work on yourself first. You gotta work on this energy. You can't be the player. You can't be like always the center of attention, like cocky, okay? Because if you do, it's always going to cause a tower moment. Okay? Well, that's your reading, Cancer. Um, I hope this resonated with you. If it did, comment. You know, let me know if you want to. Um, if you like this reading, hit the thumbs up. Even subscribe so you can be notified whenever my next videos come out. Okay? Have a blessed day, Cancer.